on. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Wayne Howe and Ray C. It's bringing you down to basketball. So starting line up for the Rebels, Ryan Savage, Kevin Zinchuk, August Re Terry Collins, and Sean Kelly. As the Telstra Rebels take on the Mama Mustangs. And if you were here for the first game, or watched the first game, uh, as the uh, Varsity Girls took on the Mama Mustangs, it was one exciting game. Came right down to the wire. That's it. The last uh, seven seconds basically decided this ball, that ball game. So. And uh, the Telstar girls, uh, whose record was two and two, went against Monmouth, who was one and four. So you can't really tell a lot for that, I guess. No, you uh, can't. Tonight, the Rebel boys are three and two, and the uh, Monmouth uh, Mustang boys are 0 oh and five. But based on what we saw in the first game, we it, better. It could be a tough 0 oh and five. We better reserve judgment, I guess. Like I noticed that uh, Josh Longway usually stats, and he's not out there starting. I don't know if he'll be playing tonight, or, yeah. or just not starting. What the thing is with that? But well, Telstar got the tap, but nobody got it. It went out of bounds and Mustangs uh, ended up with the first two possession this ball game. Rebels playing some pretty tight, tight defense here in the early going. Mama feeling them out, looking to work it inside, goes into the post, and the foul is going against Intra. Well, it didn't take long to get the first foul of the game either. Uh, 30, 26 seconds, as a matter of fact. Rims out. Jeff Benson, who started his teaching career here at Telstar. Right, student teaching, I remember that. Moved on. Now, he was the AD in uh, Lisbon for a while. I don't know if he's still there or not. No, he moved on. He's now the oh, AD at Oxford Hill. That's right. Hill. That's right. I see him on a daily basis. Will that help us any? I don't know. I provided a lot of help for him. It should help us. That's oh, a steal. That was... yeah, came up behind. And... That should be a travel, I hope. Yeah. There. Good call. I'll compliment him. I think it was Sean Cadigan who had the ball there, and uh, he came up from behind and just uh, went down the court with it. Well, the Rebels are, have no score yet, and uh, Palma has a one-point lead. Cadigan. A little floating jumper didn't go. And we played a minute with no field goals. Ten around. Yeah. Now we've got a field goal. Palmer. Race speed tries to feed the cat again. He's by he's flying before the pass is made, and the mama comes away with it. That's right. Goes right along and Zincha. The Cadigan who's gonna bring it down, feeds it ahead to Reese. Reese cuts into the middle back to Cadigan. Cadigan down the lane, stop, puts Reece. it up. The Reese, so we will give and go. Give it away and it does good things for you. Rebels at two, Mustangs at three. The feed goes in, up and Whoa. up. No good. 
dodge a little bullet Seven. that time. Pass the ball. Shoot. Off the glass, no good. Mama. Goes long. Parrot stops, pops, no good. Well, Mama's is very quick out there, too, pushing the ball up the court whenever they possible. Five thirty-seven on the clock. Three two a moment. Cadigan, Cadigan down the lane, kicks it back out. Does it shot looks at the long shot, stops. Back out to Cadigan. Cadigan through Savage at the top. Savage down the lane, throws through a crowd and just throws it up. Bama at the top. Off to the wing. Into the post, outside, shot jumper. No good. Rebound, hit shot. He's got two or three boards already. 458 on the clock. Cadigan, Cadigan down the lane, stop, pops off the glass. And it's a 4 3 ball game. Rebels by one. Well, he may have fouled him there, but he definitely had his hand on the ball as he knocked the ball away before they called a foul. Yep. That's Terry Collins, first foul. 440 oh, on was the clock. Did they say 12? Oh, 32, yeah. I'm just talking to myself here, guys. As long as it's Pratt, go ahead. <laughs> oh. We have a foul in the rebounding action, did we? Well, uh, Three quick fouls on the Rebels here. Reese that Reese. one up. Cross court, number 11, into the low post, Terrence. Eight away, fast is good. 5-4 moment. 424 on the clock. Savage with the ball at the top. Savage to the wing, Reese. Reese looks to penetrate, not there. Out to Savage. Savage looking inside. Obama, uh, really tight defense. That was to uh, Collins. Into Cadigan, out to Savage. Savage goes in, off and off the glass. Nice move by, uh, yeah. strong move by Savage. Yep. He drew the uh, defense and then went up. Bob at the top, 6-5, Rebels, 3.33 on the clock. Pass the back by uh, Bama <laughs> and recovered by Delta and Savage draws a foul, he'll go to the line. 3.23 on the clock, 6-5, Rebels. Bama's player had his hand on the ball, but also uh, had quite a lot of body-to-body -body contact. Yeah. So first team foul on the Mustangs. Pass is good. Pass is good. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Cadigan says, thank you very much. Yeah, he anticipated that pass very well. 10-5 as the Rebels jump out in front by five. Three minutes on the clock. Bobmuth ball. Bobmuth working the ball on the front. Fuck great. <laughs> right. Off the rim, Savage. Oh, quickly Goes out. Way ahead to Zinchuk. No, so can't get to it. Step too far ahead. Would have been a good wall pass. <laughs> okay, long ways in the game now, and so is uh, Ryan Kimball. Okay. We didn't want them sneaking in on us like they uh, sometimes do. Okay. Cadigan. Long way gets handled the ball, went to Cadigan, back to long way. Here we have a mama timeout. To the score, 12-5, favor of the Rebels. And 2.40 on the clock. 
Rebels are really struggling the first two or three minutes of this ball game, and all of a sudden they're just start jumping out. We're going to fix these people who like to sit over here on this side of the yeah. bleachers now. There, figure they're not on camera. They'll learn that you can run, but you can't hide. Yeah, that's right. How about that, Mr. Cadigan? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> gotcha. He's probably taping this game at home anyway, so he'll uh, have a chance to uh, view it later. And uh, surprise, surprise, you never know what's going to happen. Smile, you're on channel two. <laughs> oh, long pass. Turn around, jump around. No good. Bottom of three bound. And it's off Kimball. He didn't have any chance to get it. No. Even though no. it was off him. Well, at least he blocked the pass from going in. Yep. He was in the right place at the right time. So. Down the lane, up and off the glass. That was a nice move. Yeah, it was a nice little stretch kind of on the end there, too. Yeah. Wrong way to Savage. Wrong way. Wrong way. Out to Cadigan. Up to Reese, over to Savage. Savage turns the corner, tries to hook in, doesn't get it. He covers. Oh, yeah. Away and now we're going to call that foul. Yeah. So that'll be the second uh, team foul on the Mustangs with uh, an even two minutes on the clock in this first period. 12 7 Rebels. Reese inbound, baseline. Rebels with a stack, out to Cadigan. To Reese for three. Off the rim, no good. And oh, ball over right. the bank. Yeah. No, over the back. Yeah. Foul seven, Rebels. We're under two. Bomb of uh, Rebels pressing. Knocked away by long way. Bomb recovers. It was a nice great job play by, by Kimball. Kimball. He had yep. tried to get up. Yep. But he had to get up to get at it, I guess. So. Mammoth ball. 145 on the clock for his period. Wow. Nice uh, long way. Got a hand on it, but uh, they recovered. And they're setting it up again, working around the perimeter. Helps the pressure. Got caught with the block wide open, and Monmouth couldn't follow through with it. Cadigan off for Savage in the long way. Looks for the cut, wasn't there. Kicks it back out. Reese. Savage. Savage looking down the lane. Nothing's there. Kicks it out to Kimball. Kimball looks at the shot. He's headed for the hoop. And he's oh. got it. Strike nice Kimball. Ryan Kimball. 14-7, and we're under a minute. Kicked off by Ring. Yeah, and he foul was fouled. Yep. That's a good call for if you can hurt somebody that way. Fourteen seven. Rebels. 46-8 on the clock. Mammoth uh, picking them up at half court. Ditches to Cadigan. Back to Savage at the top. The long way. Cadigan. Savage. Savage bringing it to the top. Spreading the floor. And I think we got a foul away from the ball. But. So a long way will inbound for Rebels, and we're down to 19.8. Uh, Goes to Reese, the long way. Kimbo. Reese. Cadigan. 
Cadigan looking in. Cadigan down the lane. Stops, pops off the glass. It's no good. Tipped away by Kimball. And the Mustangs come away with it. So, after one period of play, the Phil Star Rebels lead the Mother Mustangs with a score of 14 7. Well, that was a pretty fast uh, paced game. Most of the play. Certainly is. Went by uh, very fast. A few more of those uh, new banners we have put up there by the uh, ah. Telstar Boosters Club. Baseball. Isn't that a wonderful sound? State champs. Oh, yeah. It even looks good. <laughs> Does indeed. Field hockey. Yeah. I say, in recent years, it seems like I haven't even known a year that they haven't been involved in playoffs, field hockey. In contention. Yes. <laughs> even in their so-called rebuilding years. <laughs> Absolutely. As, as your daughter and my daughter can uh, attest to that one. Right. And they built some pretty well. Good uh, teams, because they both went on uh, the college ball and NCAA play. That's right. As did Sarah Richardson. Right. Who's in that same group of girls? Oh, nice pass. Savage, Savage. inside, up and off the glass. Pretty, oh, pretty Savage. play. Savage with uh, six points in this ball game already. Fade away jumper is no good. Long way got a hand on it, so it will stay with the Mustangs. 16 7 Rebels, 7 32 on the clock, second period. Goes out long. And the Mustangs will set it up. Rebels playing a tight 2 3 zone defense. I'd like to say that's a matchup zone. <laughs> a little fake. Oh, oh. Savage got a piece of that, didn't he? Well, he tried to force that, and Savage made him pay. Well, I looked at the three, pops at the elbow, it's no good. And I think. They're going to call it guy chop. Yes, that's what it was, indeed. Bummer. Breaks the press, goes long. Up and off the glass, doesn't Ooh. go. Follow up up. Well, credit Mama's on hustle that time. 16 9. Rebels, 647. Kimball into the paint, stop. And he's fouled. You gotta like the way uh, Kimball takes it into the basket. He does. Especially the fact that he's uh, a sophomore. And probably the shortest guy out there. <laughs> probably. Uh, close to it. Cadigan. Savage. Back to uh, Cadigan. Cadigan, baseline. Oh. Well, the moment player uh, tried a nice ball, boy. As in falling away to get the offensive <laughs> call. Which he did not he did get. a nice somersault, yeah. really. Basket's good. <laughs> Whoa, nothing but that. So it is 18-9. We're playing doubles. That's for three. Goes long. Rebound Mustang. Pop. It's a jumper. No good. Rebound Mustang. Hook shot. No good. And Cadigan comes away with this. Beats it ahead to Longwood. So looks at baseline. Stops and pops. Off the rim. No good. Long way. Off the glass. No good. Savage got a hand. Almost recovered. And the Rebels pull it back. 5.58 on the clock, 18-9. Rebels lead this, second period. Well, 
Knocked away by Longway. He's going to the hoop. Up and off. The glass doesn't go. And Marvin comes back the other way. At the elbow, pop. Oh, good. Rebound. Reese. Feeds it ahead to Kimball. Kimball down the lane. Up and off the glass. That's going to be good. And he'll go to the line. If you look at the size of Kimball, you aren't likely to bump him off stride. No, no. And we got a timeout on the floor. With 527 on the clock, and the Rebels leading this one. 29. While the Rebels have uh, spread the scoring around so far, Savage has six, uh, Reese a couple, Longway a couple. Kimball four and Cadigan six. of this game we have another experiment to try uh, this time we want to try to interview some of the uh, lady rebels and we're going to try to do that live up here uh, right next to the Telstar booth ah, since, our, since our taping ones uh, our cameras aren't compatible with something as far as the sound so come on that's the road well oh, oh. Through the legs, up and off the left. 21, 11. 515 on the clock. Cadigan with a little fake. Tries to feed it off, but must stay steal it. And Kimball will pick up the foul. So that's five team fouls on the Rebels, seven team fouls. On the Mustang, so this game could slow up a little bit as we head into the latter part of this period. Okay, Matt Zinchuk just came in for August Reese. Okay. Well, actually, I don't know that the uh, the press has been all that effective. Of course, as soon as I say that, they get a turnover from it. But they've given us some easy baskets on the other side. Yeah, say the, the long pass. Right. Got by us over. Kimball with a turn to Longway. Stops, pops. Pass is good. Inside the three. No good. Rebound Savage. But the pace of this ball game has slowed up considerably yes. since the uh, early minutes. Long way with the ball. Best bag, man to man defense. And we throw it away. 23-11, 402 on the court. Mustang possession. To the hoop. Off the block. Ten point ball game. Long way. Oh, nice give and, give and go. go. Doesn't get any prettier. A kick on. Josh Longway, this will be Mammoth ball out of bounds. Same shot uh, in for Kimball. Two Davises on the girls team, two Zinchucks on the boys team. Ah, true, how true, how true. Makes it easier to announce, you just say Zinchuck and you're two fists uh, right anyway. <laughs> Cadigan with a rebound. He's pushing it down the floor. At the middle, stops and dishes the long way, stops, feeds in. Nice pass. Same shot, Matt same shot with the layup. Reverse layup on right hand. Good athleticism. Yeah. 
something I could dream about. <laughs> 27, 13, Rebels up by 14, 305 on the clock. As the Mustangs try to get inside and do get inside. Well, they threaded the needle and they converted it. 27-15. 12 point game. Goes into long way. Kicks it back to Zinchuk, to Savage. Tries to turn the corner baseline, nothing there. Goes long to long way, who recovers and... Ooh, does a good job there. Oh. Was that uh, was that Cadigan was, that uh, was uh, tiptoeing uh, with the ball just yeah. before the yeah. court line there? And he uh, actually, I think, hit the other opposing player in the face with the basketball. But he got fouled at the same time. Yeah. So. Twenty-seven, fifteen. Rebels. Cadigan on the line. against the Rebels. So now both teams uh, here on out will be in the bonus. Stops, pops at about the 12 foot back. No good, Savage, rebound. Goes to Cadigan, who ends up with it. He's on the wing. He's looking to go down the line. Can't go, kicks it out to Savage. Savage, whoa, nice fool by Ryan Savage. Whoa! I thought he was... And that's Kevin Zinchuk. To Cadigan for three. Pass good! Good. They're heating it up out there. We have a timeout, Mama. Well, we've jumped out to a 34-15 lead. Uh, and what? Just a few seconds? Basically. 151 on the clock. That was about uh, 35 or 40 seconds that we just blew things wide open there. And Mama needs to regroup, and rightly so. Mama for the ball. And they weren't paying much attention, they nearly lost that. Rebels putting a little defensive pressure on there. Rebound, long one. And he gets called for the carry. Well, I think that's our first carry we've had tonight. It's the best one I've seen this yeah. year. I, I have only been uh, for three games. So. Oh, almost had the block, kicked away, and over the back by number 15 will be Telstar on the line. Red, one five, hit, one Hey! 34-15, Rebels, 119 on the clock. And Terry Collins on the line. Shooting one and one. Well, the Rebels get the tip and the shot, get the ball, and Robert comes away with it. They try to thread the needle, and it's out of bounds. It's kind of skipped through. It did it hit. Rebels. Finchak inbounding to Cadigan.
Under a minute. So, uh, Reese, who's back in the game, uh, I didn't see him come in. Cadigan for three. Bingo. That's his second three, I believe. Sean Cadigan with 14 points in his first half. Down the lane, hopping off the glass. Well, he made the move, he couldn't follow through. Get a clean look on that one. Yep. Well, it's kind of a late call. I think Kyle's going to go on Kevin Zinchuk. Yes, indeed. Yes, it is. 37 50. Rebels. In the lead. 31.8 on the clock. And in the game now for the Rebels is number 22, Max Meter. So the Rebels have really pulled away the second quarter. It was uh, closer than that uh, first quarter. Indeed, it was. Well, it was 14 7, but it was a ball game all the way. Throws it away. Zinchuk in for Zinchuk. It's a match in the game again. And he was all, he must have. He, did, he just came out just a little while. He was yeah. only out for a few seconds. Let's see if there's a special play coming here. There that was it right there, I coming. think. Nice, nice fake. That was a special play that they were working on. Out they worked on yeah. that, you know, uh, during the timeout. Uh, during while he was on the bench. Well, with 19 seconds on the clock, uh, Rebels up by 24 points. I wonder if the refs have to buy their own whistles or whatever they're finished. <laughs> I don't know. He's going through a lot of whistles. Uh, yeah, I agree with 
cliche. We definitely just need to bring everything together. And once we do, then it'll probably be unstoppable in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks. All right, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. On, we're recording. What I do with this is the last figure you see is that total. So I just go two, that two, you made a two pointer, three made a foul shot, four he made a foul shot. So you can tell where they went one. Two, okay, so, three. so the highest number is but the is, last is the... one is a number. So okay. He has eight, he has five, six, four, five, and fourteen. And you keep on the second I half just there? I keep right on yep. adding to that second half. And I even go by quarters. Top half of it is the first quarter, bottom half is the second quarter. Okay. Yeah. I rarely do anything with that. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for second half action, and we've got a little different setup here in the booth. Uh, we have Clayton on the camera. I'm back. Yeah. And Raymond's going to save his voice a little bit uh, for tomorrow's game. So we have a we have a doubleheader girls game uh, tomorrow. So. So I'm going to do some of the, the talking over here, and Raymond's going to nudge me in the ribs when uh, I'm not saying something right. Wait, what a three game trip for the girls? Yes. Tomorrow, Tuesday, Friday. and Friday. Saturday? Right. No, not Saturday, but of course they played tonight. Okay. Savage goes up strong there, gets fouled on that. The Rebels had a real strong second quarter. They lead 42 to 17. Brian Savage on the line, shooting two. The rest one's good. And the second one is good. Rebels are picking up a little bit more towards half court now in the press. Whoa, someone lost Wide their man. open. Yep. Good play by Mama. Someone uh, lost their assignment. Cadigan coming down. Up with it. Rolls around. Good. 46-19, Rebels. Hit by Longway, comes to Caddian who goes down again. Pass off to Reese, goes in. The basket's good, and Reese is fouled, went to the line. We've had quite a few of those tr traditional three-point uh, plays here. That's because the uh, other team's not giving any strong fouls, they're just tapping them. So they really have an easy layup. And it's good. 49-19, Rebels by 30, early in the second half. Cadigan out to uh, Mamas' coach. Another steal. Savage. Oh. Probably should have used the backboard. He's been very successful using the backboard. Is that the second open lamp that's been missed so far? I'm not sure. Because I know I saw one in Josh Longway in the first half. Yeah. Cadigan looking for help. Reese goes in. Longway. Off the rim. Ooh. Cadigan ahead to uh, make Savage. And he this time he uses the back boy. It gets two. If 
So how many is left for Savage now? He's got quite a few, hasn't he? Wow. He's got a dozen. He's got a dozen. Cadigan! Nice Savage! Pass. Well, he's fouled. That's not going to be a three-point play. I, I think probably uh, Clayton would, would say that he got fouled hard enough, so it made that a pretty hard play. Yeah. I don't believe in easy fouls. <laughs> Is that the way you play? Yep. Actually, no, I don't. But. First one's good. 52-21, tells Todd by 31. Second one bounces out. Three-point attempt. Off the rim, rebound. Uh, yeah. Nice look. <laughs> nice pass. Okay. Up to Reese who lays it in. Reese has all the right pieces of the rim. The last lap. Telstar's defense looks really lackluster, but they're still getting the ball every single time. Yep. Jose, that was a Collins to Cadigan. Cadigan gets two. Okay, Mama uh, calls timeout. Uh, I'm not sure, Clayton. What do you what do you say when you're down by like uh, 35 points with Let's four minutes left in the third quarter? <laughs> Let's go bench. <laughs> Let's go bench. I say you give some of the younger players on your team a little run right now because it's not. I don't think they're going to be coming back. It, it's not like Monmouth isn't hustling. They're still hustling. It's just they're being overmatched. And they're starting to make some bad decisions out on the floor because of their frustration. So I think he wants to get them back to make yeah. good decisions. Pushing it a little bit too hard to try to catch up from a no. deficit. And he needs to turn this into some type of learning experience. <laughs> Practice some plays or something. He needs to find something that can be successful at out there, whether it's bringing the ball up the floor or executing plays or getting right. to the inside. Something that they can take away from this game that's positive. Okay, Rebels picking up uh, at half court. Oh, it's almost a nice pass. Reese had that one smelled out. Got his hand on it. Oh, I guess he knocked it off the uh, Mama Claire also, which I didn't really notice. Okay, Savage with the ball. Pushing hard. Stops. Out Collins. Off the rim. Oh, that, that could have been called right there. I think that went over his head. Nice block. Blocked by Savage, then he's fouled in a little bit of retaliation. Ryan is throwing up the stat sheet tonight. A couple steals, block, points. I think Savage is it's deceptive how high he can jump, too. I mean, he doesn't look like a, a big man out there, but he, he's quick. and Like I said, at first when he went up on that uh, fingertip layup that he missed. His, I thought he was trying to stuff it. I really did. He, his he arm was like pretty it. far over the rim. Yeah. I thought he could have dunked it too. But All right, Cadigan over to Reese. Back to, well, actually not back to, but Collins. It's going to be a foul on uh, Sean Cadigan. If I was the rest, I don't know if I would call small calls like that right now because it's not like it's helping anyone. It's just slowing down the game. See, like, that's not even a foul shot or anything, so. Yeah. That's kind of a wasted call. Yeah, but he's got a brand new whistle. You want to use yeah. it. Yeah. Dropped his other one in the first <laughs> half. Wait, was he holding it or was it on a chain? I, I don't remember. I think that was the travel. Kevin Zinchuk comes up with the rebound. Over to Savage. Savage is coming up looking. Cadigan. Three point attempt. Off the rim. Savage again. I guess who's going to the foul line? Would he be going? No, not on this one. If I was Telstar, I'd start integrating some of the younger players right now so they get used to playing. 
Yeah, I'm thinking probably the coach will wait until fourth quarter just to make sure we don't want to. I have, don't don't uh, put them all in, but just yeah, yeah. rotate a little one or two in right now so they get used to playing with their better players. Okay, Collins out there. Nice He's a pass. savage. Ooh, just just tipped a little bit and it went off uh, Savage's uh, fingertips. That was a good look, though. You saw the wide open man and try to get it to him, but the hand got in the way. Oh, that was a nice save of the Mama Claire. Tip comes out to Reese, heading up the court. Over to Cadigan. Nice Two. Shot. Wait, what's the school's name? Monmouth or Monmouth? Mama. Mama. Yeah. That was their coach. I don't know if I could be too happy right now. Not just because they're bad play, but just because some of the shots they've been missing, like the last easy lead that he could have made right down in the lane. Well, it's going to be a reason why they're 0 5. Yeah. Hey. Kevin Zinchuk comes up with the ball. Passes off to Cadigan. Over to Reese. Collins takes a shot. Good. That ball was hung in the net that time. It was so soft. Ooh. Cadigan knocks it out of bounds. Ryan Kimball comes in for Terry Collins. 60 to 21. 39 for Rebels lead. in command. That's going to be all over the back there. Delsa has one team foul in the second half. Mammoth is up to uh, six. So one and one? Uh, next one will be. Cadigan has the ball. He's racing up. Pass into Kimball. Makes a nice turn move. Nice move, Ryan Kimball. How many is that for Kimball now? Seven. Seven. Okay. Nice little shot there. Four points in seven minutes. Ouch. Zinchak looking for some help. Comes out to Savage. Play number two. Reese. Into Zinchak. Kevin Zinchak. And that's going to put Kevin on the line. That's going to be a one and one. I had to check you to see Kevin Zinchuk is a senior. It just, it's hard for me to believe that, that he's a senior already. Max Meter's in. Max Meter's in, yes. Sir. Who do you win for? Uh, uh, Sean. Uh, okay, Sean Cadigan. I say Max is pretty, pretty uh, aggressive out there on the JV games. Got a good little shot. Now, as Clayton says, he's going to get some experience out there with the big boys. Yep. Playing with a couple of the starters. That's what I think they should have done a little earlier, though. Well, I think, yeah. Because it's kind of hard to come back from a 40-point deficit in the fourth quarter. But as a coach, it's hard to say sometimes, when do you take that chance? Yeah. It's... Because most times in a good game, you usually don't see... 40 or 50 points in the first half. Right. Yeah, usually when you score 62 points, that's the final score. Yeah. Hey, 
Yeah, Monmouth isn't giving up though. They, they might be out class, but they're not giving up. That's a steal. Oh, and a double dribble. Oh, I think that should be a technical. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of frustration. But he came up with a good steal. But I think the ref's just laughing it off though. Savage with the ball. Getting a little bit of trouble over there. And now Savage will be going to line again. 62-24. Rebels lead by 38. Did I do that right? Sounds good to me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not a math teacher, so I, you know, these, some of these numbers give me a hard time. Oh, I think he's gonna grab his own rebound. Mustangs bring it down fast. Cross court pass. Three point attempt. Well, they knew that the time was almost out. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Well, while we have a little time out, uh, just another reminder that uh, tune us in again tomorrow at uh, 5.30. And we'll have some Vasity Girls, well, JV and Vasity Girls action. Um, I'm not sure who we're playing. <laughs> you, okay, Ray, Raymond's our statistician for the second half. He's got all the information. Everything you want to know and more. Okay, booth bag. I don't know how Friday night is going to Wow. Now, I don't know how, how Booth Bay is this year. It seems like they've been pretty pretty tough team in the past. So it could be some tough games. Uh, good points, though, if the Rebels can win. Okay, so we have Matt Zinchuk, Kevin Zinchuk, Whoa. Max Mita, who just lost the ball, and it's taken from him. Whoa. Then he causes, a, well, he gets called for the foul. Ryan Kimball and uh, Ryan Savage. Oh, nice steal. Yep, Matt Zinchuk to Savage. Oh, kind of lost, lost a hold of it there, going up for the layup that time. But uh, I think someone's going to line again. Could it be Ryan Savage? Could it be? I think it could. It is. How many times has he been to the line today? Yeah, our statistician <laughs> doesn't doesn't keep track of that, but uh, uh, it's make quite a few quite a few times. <laughs> Let's just say that he scored his 14th point yeah. and 15th point, so. Mamas gets her own rebound, puts it up and around. Ryan Kimball comes down with it. Up to Savage. He's like fouled he, again. It looks like he's always up there somehow. <laughs> well, I tell you. He's every a, fast break. You know, Ryan, is, is he's very aggressive. And when he sees that uh, the Rebels have a rebound, he's up the court on a fast break. And, uh, and they've had to chase him and try to catch him from behind. And they foul him. They should just keep one deep. Just to catch him. Kevin Zinta and that's third behind. steal in the last minute. Yeah. Savage looking, looking for help. And the Ryan Kimball. Nice little take move. It in. I think he just took that one all the way. Well, I thought it was over the back a little bit, but we'll let that one go, keep the game rolling. But. Off his foot and don't miss back court. Cross court pass, three point attempt, good. 65-24. Rebels by 38. 
Yeah. Oh, and passed to the ref, but he didn't catch it. I would have thought that uh, Mr. Benson could have caught that if he wanted to. It was close enough. Whatever. He should have thrown it to the packed part of the stands. He threw it to the empty ones. Okay, Josh Longway is in. Oh, and another he, steal. He comes up from the, I guess Did it's they, a steal, I, The other team might be colorblind. You never know. Longway with a rebound. Up and good. Steal, rebound, and a pass. Yes. All in one play. All for his own stats, I'm sure. To himself. In some ways, I hate to call that a steal because it looked like he threw it right directly to him. And he gets a foul call. So a foul, good. rebound. Josh pass. has done everything in, in like 15 seconds. If I was him, I would be proud. That's an accomplishment. God is good. 619 left in this one. Rebels by 39. Rebound, Matt Zinchuk, long way, bringing the ball up. Go over the hoop. And Good. another bucket. Yeah. Wait, was he wearing different shoes in the first half? <laughs> I don't know. Those ones are kind of bright. I think, I think, I I think we'll have to check the tape, find out. I think we should. Okay, that foul's on uh, Matt Zinchuk. I think he switched shoes okay. with Zincha. So, Lewis Thornton is now in for Kevin Zincha. Lewis is a sophomore also out there. On the swing team. Plays a lot nice of the rebound. TV and, and another Thornton fast break. to a long way. Off the rim. If he scored, I think that could have been four in a row. <laughs> Nice move. That was a pretty good move. You're going to line. And the foul was on uh, what number? Number 11, which is... Oh, okay. So Lewis Thornton gets his name in the book now anyway. Sixty-nine thirty. Rebels lead. Nice spin. Kimball sizes it up. Off the rim. Oh! Thornton is almost there for the rebound. Had it taken over his head. Kimball goes in for the uh, steal and gets a little bit of body to have an elbow and uh, That's the second foul on Ryan Kimball. It's good thing it's not a close game because uh, Mamas is shooting uh, the lights out on foul shots right now. Okay, long way, setting up a play out front. Threw Max's hands off his head. Out of bounds, Monmouth ball. 5'11 left in this one. Rebound long way. Up to Thornton. Heading for the basket, good defensive play there to keep him out. Long way off the front of the rim. Nice rebound. rebound meter. Takes a shot. And a pass. Yeah, it must have been a pass. Yeah, we'll, we'll give him credit for a pass and give him an assist on that one. I think he was looking for the alley-oop. Matt Zinchuk with the uh, basket that time. Three oh, point. big rebound by Zinchuk. Hey, 
Thornton with the ball. Looking around. Has it knocked away? Ooh. Ouch. And he jumps into the stands. I don't know why. Okay, now. Yeah. Nice move. Ryan Kimball. Kevin Gallagher is in. Yeah, good thing of his name. A little bit of brain cramp here. Wait, how oh. many people are in double digits? The scoring. Well, I don't know we're going to get that. Well, I don't know. <laughs> he spit on the floor? What's going on here? He must think he's playing a different sport. Okay, Ryan Kim will be going to line. I mean, that was, was so, such an obvious foul. It's almost like his hands up in the air like, me? 73-32. Telstad with 403 left in this one. It's a double bonus, too. A double bonus? Wow. Absolute now. Is there such thing as a triple bonus? Like if you got like 20,000 or something. <laughs> you know, when you start losing players, usually we get that many. Well, I like to see Max and uh, Lewis get in the game there, and, uh, and Kevin also, Kevin Gallagher. Have a little chance to do some scoring. Kimball makes both of them. 75 32. With the deep, whoa! We could have almost given four points on that one. That was deep. I did not expect him to make that. No. Matt no. Zinchuk brings it up over to Thornton. Wait, was that their center? Yeah. I don't really know. Ryan Kimball with it, looking. Meter. Thornton makes a little move, goes up. Oh, gets hammered three times. You take your choice. Who, who fouled him, right? Looks like on the very last, he, he got put in the headlock. So, Lewis Thornton's going to get a couple of chances to make it in the scorebook. has another chance to get another shot. That's good. Line drive, two-pointer. <laughs> 76-37, Rebels. Thornton the ball, hitting in. Oh, oh. nice left-handed little uh, floater. Pretty. I bet Monmouth wish they were shooting this good in the beginning of the game. Yeah. Oh, oh nice re rebound. What was that? And it's in. That was a wild one, but it's good for two. Max Meter bringing the ball up the court. Meets the defender. Over to Matt Zinchuk. Top of the key. Lewis Thornton. Kind of got up in the air, ready to make a pass, and uh, nobody was there. They kind of had to eat the ball. Under two and a half minutes left in this game. Ryan uh, Kimball keeps that ball alive. Mita comes down with a rebound. And Monmouth is on his way, four on two advantage. Nice pass. Yep. Monmouth comes up with another steal. Two more quick basket, uh, points. I think they're trying to pick up a quick 30 in the last two minutes. 
Well, the Mustangs aren't giving up. The, the players that are out there want to play and, and show what they can do. Kevin Gallagher into Ryan Kimball. Into a crowded middle. Ball goes out of bounds. Be tells that ball underneath. Into Kimball. Turn, shoots. Gallagher, Again. yes! Is everybody in the book? No, I don't think Meter's got any points yet, has he? Max Meter? Nope. nope. You gotta get Meter in the game there. Meter and Kevin Sunchuck. Kevin? Who haven't scored on the team. Kevin didn't get any. No. Okay. I don't think Kevin's chance is very good because uh, I think he was gonna be out for the rest of the game. I think he's out on this one. And Kevin Gallagher now with a traditional three-pointer. Three-point play, I should say. That's an NBA three. Looks like he might take it. Oh, nice pass. Yeah, good job. Mustangs have been on a little scoring spurt, but the Rebels have been matching them. Chased nice down save. by Thornton. Heading for the basket. Oh, he gets blocked. Mustang has scored uh, 21 points this quarter. In this quarter alone, wow. Well, that should make them feel good anyway, the ones that are out there now. But the Rebels have scored 19. So. so they've been just about keeping pace. So. Younger players having a chance to go out there and show what they can do. And it kind of looks like they are showing. Three-point attempt is off. Matt Zincha comes down with the ball. He's also going to bring the ball up, I guess. Okay. Ryan Kimball. Thornton with a three-point attempt. Off the rim. Long one going down. We got three Rebels down there to pick this one up. Oh, and I lost the Hey, ball. that's the game. What, what happened all that time was on the clock? I guess no one, uh, the play just kept on going. Well, anyway, we're here uh, at the end of the game here. Telstar, 81 over Mama, 45. Give you the unofficial scoring in just a moment. Okay, we have Ryan Savage with 16 points, Lewis Thornton with three, August Reese 10, Josh Longway 10, Terry Collins 2, Matt Zinchuk 6, Ryan Kimball 9, John Cadigan 20, and Kevin Gallagher 3. So that's it for, uh, for this game. Like I said, turn, tune us in tomorrow, 5.30, with the girls.